We're on our way uphill out of Sholo, Arizona, towards Concho, to Vagabond Base Camp. Camper Van Kevin has invited us up for a few days. I think Eric's up there, a nomadic fanatic, a couple of other people. Should be an interesting visit. Please enjoy my stories or whatever else might be on my mind today. We've made it to Camper Van Kevin's driveway, Vagabond Base Camp. Oh, a FedEx truck. Hey, that's good news because I've got an air compressor coming that I'm supposed to review, and I think it's going to be a really good one. It's going to pump air faster than my other one when I air down my tires for going off-roading with the Jeep and then have to pump them back up to go on the highway. I walked in to see what the parking situation is, and... Kevin and Eric are going to help me back in, so this should be interesting. Um, you're only going to see out the windshield because uh, I don't have a camera that records on my backup camera for the RV. There's Kevin, making sure I don't run into anything. And uh, Eric, he's uh, filming just in case I run off the culvert, or run into a tree, anything for YouTube. I guess if you're going to see that, you'll have to go and check out Nomadic Fanatic channel, because if it happens on my camera, I'm going to edit it out. Uh-oh, well, there's one edited out. <laughs> Actually, it... Uh, Turned my mirror just a little bit. Didn't hurt anything, but I can't see my rear view mirror on that side now. But I got these two guys guiding me. I'll be okay. It's uh, quite a ways back in here, and I have to navigate backwards past a couple of RVs as well. Slow and sure. The RV appearing on the right is Carolyn. She's quite the rock layer. She's making a stone path there that's pretty impressive. Eric's uh, trailer and new blue shed. There on the left, and I'm just barely making it past Eric's RV. <laughs> yeah, okay, good. Uh, yeah, uh huh, close enough. Tater taught the smart car there on the right. Uh, Kevin's RV and Felix is next to him. The purple house on the left and Vagabond Base Camp hot tub. And a little bit more, and I'm pretty much where I'm going to be for a few days. That's uh, Debbie's van there on the right. And I'm back here by the two brown sheds, the storage shed and the garage. Perfect. Well, we're at uh, the Purple House Vagabond Base Camp this morning. And the wind has come up overnight. It feels like the wind is blowing 100 miles an hour. Well, I have to do a voiceover here and try to remember what I was talking about because the wind is so bad. Uh, I wanted to take you back here and show you the great view. It's nice and sunny, but it's uh, cold. It's not frigid, but it's cold. Oh, look at that. My tricycle is leaning because I've got a flat tire I have to fix. Beautiful view that Kevin has here. 
really like the cliffs. We're standing at the top of one that looks kind of like that also. Uh, the wind whips up over this cliff, though. Pretty bad. Probably no wind at all over there. Yeah, windy, but what a beautiful view Kevin has. I put my slides in in the middle of the night because the slide covers were whipping so bad that it uh, woke me up. And of course, when it's really windy like that, I'm afraid they're going to rip. Plenty of firewood, but uh, too windy for a fire. No campfire tonight. Ah, here comes our host. Kevin in his Purple's Faster tracker. Well, the wind died down enough that we could do a little spray painting on the Purple's Faster tracker. We uh, put on the covers for the windows and painted the windows, and now we're ripping off the tape, and it uh, changed the total appearance of the car. Looks much better. Kevin will have that thing looking brand new by the time he's done with it. It's much more, look, more modern because it had the color breaks in here. Yeah. This stuff right. is more solid. I think it makes it look lot better. More better. Well, I'm here at uh, Camper Van Kevin's Vagabond Base Camp. But boy, the weather has turned on us. The wind is blowing hard and it's cold. It's supposed to get rain and snow tonight. It's kind of early in the morning. Everybody's just probably still enjoying their warm beds. But uh, I always need to walk a little in the morning, get the stiffness out of my back. So, I'm going for a walk. That uh, Eric's blue house. Oh, he got his sign up in the window. Look at there. Tater hater. Nomadic fanatic. <laughs> this is Carol, and she's been working on her rock path project. That's a ambitious lady. At a cage over here there's a lost cat in the neighborhood trying to use a live cage to catch it for the people who lost their cat. Anyway, I'm going to shut off the camera and just go for a hike down the road here. Well, I've walked about a mile, but uh, man, my ears are cold. It's uh, about 40 degrees here, and the wind chill, it's probably way down below that. So I'm going back to the warm motorhome. On my walk this morning, I ran into this guy, a little horned toad. But uh, he was a bit camera shy, took off on me. I'm trying to catch up with him. Not catch him, just take a picture of him. Come on, where are you? Ah, there you are. Stand still a minute. Yeah, perfect. Well, thanks for sticking around long enough for me to get a picture of you. You're a cute little feller. Uh, still don't see anybody stirring. Oh, I need some heat. The diesel furnace is working perfectly. Good morning, Lynn. Oh, Lynn went back to sleep. Good morning, <laughs> We put the... We, 
We've got the slides in because the wind was whipping so hard that uh, the slide covers were whipping and uh, it was rocking us last night so much. Did you think that you were on the boat last night instead of the motorhome? Sorry, I caught you before you're fully awake here. <laughs> we'll talk later, okay? Yeah. She gone. I was talking to my camera. And oh. Then I was talking to you, and then you went back to sleep right in the middle of it. No, I didn't. <laughs> I've got video. Uh -huh. I've got video. <laughs> What'd you say? I said I'll miss you. I'm only going for a walk. I know. Oh, thank you. That's so nice of you to say. Well, I mean it, too. Okay. Well, it seems like a good idea to walk farther than you should downhill. Elevation here is about uh, 7,000. And I'm not having any trouble breathing. Although you probably do hear me breathing because I'm walking pretty fast. But, uh... <laughs> I'm uh, getting my exercise. Hello again. Hi, I'm back. Did you miss me? I miss you a lot. Yeah. I got to work on the molding on top of the door today. Uh, well, came you off yesterday. You gotta do first. What? There's something you got to do first. What's that? Get milk. You're kidding. You ought to milk again? Okay. You only got one. The and other you, day. Yep, yeah, I got two the day before. Well, yeah, it I, doesn't matter. Let's not have that conversation. <laughs> okay. I need milk. Uh, let's go get milk. We'll go for a ride. It's uh, a few miles. Got to work on the molding on top of the door. Came loose yesterday. I taped it with some Gorilla tape, but now the door is hard to turn the deadbolt on the inside so gotta make some adjustments let's just get in the car and go get your milk oh why don't you ask uh eric if he needs anything i will coming in hot guess who's riding my tricycle <laughs> that's interesting that's fun i like that yeah. different you come to a stop, you want to put your feet down, you just, you just chill. Yeah. Yeah, I like that. I love it. And I decided after having a motorcycle for years and an electric bicycle that I was too old for two wheels. You fit a 30 rack of bush light in there too. Exactamente. <laughs> <laughs> Trying out my tricycle for the first time this year uh, on the road. Going around down on the ranch, but here we go. Down the hill. My chain came you off. Hang on, hang on. Look at the gear. Look how bent in it is. It's in the wrong position. Oh. Right there. And I gotta pop that guy back up. That's off on the top. Off again. Okay, it's on now. Okay, we're gonna get a run at that hill. Well, I wanted to show you the view this morning. Hello.
him filming me, filming him filming me. Yeah. Did you stay warm last night? Oh yeah, toasty warm. If, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, they do a lot of camping up. Uh, they're six months uh, in the United States and six months they got a home down in Mexico too. Yeah. Living the life. Living the life. It's a good one. Is it a cliff, Jerry? Do we call it a cliff? Uh, yeah. it's, it's more than a hill. Oh, it's definitely a cliff. Okay. I even have hoodoos. Where's your hoodoo? The hoodoos across the way. They're not mine. But I get to look at them. They're like, kind of like Bryce Canyon hoodoos, like the start of them. Oh, yeah. So it's not what I thought. It's not a very heavy snow either. No, but it was a surprise when I opened the curtains this morning. Right? I saw it come in last night. Well. How beautiful. Another day or so of this, we can go ice skating down there on that pond. I looked at the road up here, and the road's clear, so that's a good thing. Yeah, the sun's shining. And look at this. It's, it's totally blue sky up here. Wow. Boy, there is a huge crack down there. That doesn't look like a wash. Yeah, it's a wash. Wow. They have, they have a lot of troubled water down here, busting all the uh, culverts out on that road. What a view you have, Kevin. What you think, Tucker? Man, it's cold as you know what. How long has it been since they saw snow? Uh, a year or two. Yeah? Are you looking for a warm place, huh? Yeah, yeah. Come on, baby May Mace. Come on. She's starting to use that foot a little more. Come yeah. on, Martinis. <laughs> Ooh, let's get these baby. Come on. Get them inside. Come on. Well, I looked around for a place to go that was going to be warmer. Right. Short of Yuma. Forget it. Might as well just. Might as well stay here and hold down the fort with Eric while I'm gone. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that. Got a beautiful view, good company. And a great furnace. Snowball fight! Snowball oh, no! Fight. <laughs> <It's> not... <laughs> yeah, don't start anything you don't want to finish. <laughs> How long has it been since you've been in snow, Eric? I didn't do it last year, but the year before, got caught up in uh, Nevada. And when I was going through Reno two years ago, it got huh? really snowy and icy. It's time to go south. Yeah, for sure. At least the sun is shining and the sky is blue today. Yep, and, and, and the wind stopped blowing. I got a good inch of, of uh, snow on the panels, too. So I don't know if I'm going to have to go up there or if the sun's just naturally going to melt. Uh, I think I'm going to have to go up there, but I might just turn on the generator for a while. Yeah. Yep. yep. Felix is pulling out. Kevin and Felix are going to Phoenix. Eric and I are going to hold down the fort for a while. The snow is melting, the sky and the sun are bright. You can hear my diesel furnace. Toasty warm in here, all is well. Kevin and Felix got on the road. Time to make another pot of coffee this morning. Just I and Eric holding down the base camp while Kevin and Felix went to Phoenix for a couple of days. Well, despite the weather, I've enjoyed being here a lot. Uh, being in the snow um, sounds terrible, but I actually look upon it as an opportunity to test 
uh, how things work with my RV and with a fully insulated coach and double pane windows and a great heating system. Uh, every time it happens that I need to really put it to the test, it comes through with flying colors and makes me happy. Ah, <sighs> 50 degrees, bright sun, I'll take it. Hey, if you like me, give me one of those thumbs up. And please subscribe and hit that little bell so you know when I post next. Please share me with your friends on social media. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed what was on my mind today.